Have I said it? Reality Chapter 2 Reality is what always already is by Adida Samraj Fundamentally, there is nothing, absolutely nothing. Nothing has ever happened and nothing is happening. There are billions upon billions of infinities of worlds beyond the visible range. There are worlds within worlds, infinities within infinities. Now I'm not suggesting that there are infinite numbers of other possibilities. I'm telling you, what does it all amount to? What is it? It is nothing. Reality is not what is. Reality is what always already is. The real is always already known. Reality tends to include all things in its own form. Reality is the present impulse. It is always the present moment. This moment is the moment of reality, of union, of truth. The only truth is radical knowledge. The only truth is radical truth. There is no resort but to truth itself. Truth itself is a radical simplicity. Truth is always already the case. It is the condition of all forms of existence. <coughs> Truth is always already the case. Truth is the present condition. The real condition of every moment, whatever arises. It is not necessary to do one thing to make truth arise in the present. There is only one truth, reality or God. Truth is not an alternative. Truth is your very consciousness, your very nature, your very condition. Truth is the most profound, the most radical reality. It is the nature of all beings and the nature of all life. Truth is always already in life. Truth is not someplace else. Truth is not itself identical to any experience or any place. Truth is not identified with any process, any knot, any opened knot, any dilemma, any sold dilemma. No event is itself truth. Truth is very consciousness itself. Truth is to all of this as the waking state is to the dreaming state. There is no inwardness that is equal to the truth. There is no special subjectivity that is the truth itself. There is no special objectivity that is the truth itself. But the subjective and the objective are already the very thing, the very truth. Truth is no more within you than it is in the lampshade. The truth is everywhere and nowhere. It is not especially within you, nor is it especially without. There is truth. Reality is in its own form and nature. It is present. It is already free. Reality is itself the unqualified form, bliss consciousness, and moving intelligence that is creative everywhere as the states, characteristics and expressions of existence. Everybody is in the form of reality. From the point of view of the form of reality, 
there is no higher or lower body. There is but one process going on everywhere and always. The whole process is a single event. In fact, no thing exists. Only the limitless process exists. There are no levels. There is only one single intensity that is. It is our nature. It is all things. There is only this intensity. It has no form, no division, no separation. No me, no this, no that. No inside, no outside. No suggestion of division itself in real consciousness, even where all worlds appear. In fact, all there is, is this one intensity. There is only relationship. There is no separation. There are no conditions for relationship. It is already the case. There is only relationship, only love, only the unqualified state of reality. Love is the original creative impulse. It is the generative source and primary form of all creativity, all manifestation. From the point of view of truth, there is no activity, no moment in time that is not Siva Shakti. Union is already the nature of all relationship. Union or relationship is always already the case. Relationship is the prior condition. Relationship is always already the case. The only thing that is ever happening in every instant is the manifestation of the very reality that exists. All separation is an illusion. It is impossible for there to be any separation. There is no such thing. It has never occurred. There is no separately existing thing anywhere. There is no separately existing being anywhere. There is no separate anything. There is no such thing. There is no body. Ultimately, there is no world. There is no limiting condition that is real or true, not even temporarily or apparently. There is not now, nor has there ever been, nor will there ever be individual being. There is no such thing. There is already no such person. No such separate one. No such dilemma. There is no such one. There is already no such one. There is no separate one living. There is no one to be in a body. There is no one to be out of the body. Nothing has happened. There is no separate one. There is the other world. This is that, without a doubt. It is already so. There is nothing but that. Life or manifest existence is communion with the divine. Life or manifest existence is samadhi. This world itself is unqualified soup, as much as any absorbed samadhi. The world is the psyche. This world is just a limitation like all of the endless infinities of billions of other worlds. All of them are just limitations. Apart from that, and absolutely coincident with that, is the divine. The perfect reality is infinite radiance, and it is no less radiant as this appearance. This is not other than that same radiance. There is no fixed condition. This world is guard theatre. There is no necessity, no seriousness to the whole affair of creation. It is not possible to save the world. It is not necessary to save the world. The world is eternally already saved by virtue of its source and nature. The world is perfect. The world is generated in reality. 
it is itself unqualified bliss, power, form, existence, being, intelligence and beauty. It is awesome as reality and not really separate from it. It is simply the process of bliss. There is no self or God or world other than the world, the total and present process. It is simply happiness. There is only enjoyment, which is the utter form of the world. There is only enjoyment, even the enjoyment of the world. There is only enjoyment, even in the form of the world. There is only radical reality, identical to real consciousness. Consciousness in itself is the ultimate reality. There is in fact no con unconsciousness, not a moment of it. There is only consciousness or the divine reality. The bright is the form of that reality which is consciousness. It is true and real, the birthright of all existence. Consciousness is relationship. Consciousness is not in relationship. Experience and other. Consciousness itself is relationship. Consciousness is the primary event, the primary fact, the primary movement, the primary drama. The power and condition of consciousness is absolute. The true self or reality is not a point. It is not the implication of experience. It has no significance in time. It is not limited to any visible form any form of energy or light. It is not located in space. It has no centre and no bounds. The ultimate testimony of the man of understanding is to truth as the radical and real condition of all conditions, high or low, extraordinary or ordinary, which is unqualified consciousness prior to all states of consciousness, prior to lights, sounds, experiences and life. That which is truth prior to all subjectivity and objectivity is truth beyond all consolation, every problem and solution, every state and attainment. That unqualified consciousness, the heart, is the principle or condition prior to self, mind, desire, body, realm or experience. That is the light of the world and every self. It is the light that is consciousness itself and every light that appears, however sublime, is illumined by that sun which is very consciousness. The only thing already free of the dilemma of consciousness is that which is very consciousness itself. There is simply consciousness itself, prior to all forms, all dilemmas, every kind of seeking and necessity. Consciousness is utterly uncontained. It is always a creative force. It is humorous. The mood of reality is an unqualified consciousness, which is present, creative, expansive activity, without prior necessity of an ultimate kind. It is always a form of humour. Conscious bliss, unqualified, is the nature of reality, which is absolute existence. The highest knowledge and power is reality, which is unqualified existence as conscious bliss. Bliss is not radically separate from consciousness. Bliss is consciousness, there is only the bliss that is reality, which is originally now identical to consciousness. This bliss, this unqualified enjoyment, happiness, is the nature of truth. There is only one fundamental, absolute enjoyment. That is the fundamental communication of truth.